Judge. What's going on, y'all? Happy Saturday, or whatever day you happen to be watching this on. Today, I'm gonna try something that I've never done before. First off, meatloaf. Believe it or not, I've never, but I don't, except for Sinatra, Consnede, blah, blah. Believe it or not, I've never made meatloaf. Not once, ever in my life. It's something that has always intimidated me because I've only had one or two meatloafs that weren't dry as hell and tasted nasty and the only way you can make them taste good with a bunch of mayonnaise. Really? The only way you can make them taste good is with a whole bunch of mayonnaise and a big old white piece of bread. And I mean, it's just something I've never done. But after watching Wolf Pit do uh, his video on this, I, I said, I gotta try it. I gotta try it. It looked freaking awesome. Now, I don't have everything that he had. I pretty much did this with what I have in the house. I did not go to, no, pretty much about it. I didn't even go to the store. Matter of fact, I'm hoping I have enough barbecue left. Barbecue sauce. I have a barbecue. It's still out there. Might be on the right though, not the left. But, um, I'm just gonna use what I have. So, what I'm starting with, he used a sweet sausage. Uh, the only thing I had was sage sausage. And the only reason we had that, because I don't even really care for the sage sausage, is because it was 50% off and it was in the freezer and it's been there for a few months. But I've got about a pound and a half of uh, ground beef and a pound of sausage. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw in some salt. I don't have them little crafts or whatever you guys call them. So I use shot glasses and rock glasses. Um, pepper. Uh, it's like a quarter teaspoon or something like that. I don't measure, so. Um, red chili flakes, of course. Love those. Uh, I've got three cloves, three big cloves of uh, fresh garlic. So we're gonna toss that in there. We love our garlic here at the house. Uh, we've got uh, about a tablespoon of uh, sauce. Actually, probably a little bit more. Uh, we're gonna toss that in. Then we've got a uh, rock slice of onion. Don't know how much that is. It was a big ass onion and I didn't chop it all up. I've got uh, one stick of uh, celery and add a little texture to it. I've got about a half a can of uh, corn. And just to mix things up, I saw it up in the cupboard. Figured we'll throw in some uh, um, Parmesan cheese. Then we need two eggs and that was kind of messy. That's kind of weird. Awesome. And those going. And now, because I'm so scared of it being uh, dry, I'm going to go ahead and throw in a little bit of ketchup. Uh, I watched a few videos on this, and some people put ketchup in it. A lot of people put on it. We're not doing that today. Okay, maybe we're not putting much ketchup in it. Oh well, it is what it is, and that's all that it is. Now before I go get my hands all nasty, nasty, nasty. Best way to mix it up, is get in there. Oh yeah. Oops, I forgot the binder. <laughs> uh, well, no clean way of doing this. I didn't have breadcrumbs, I had panko. Uh, I assume it'll work. I'm not gonna put it all in, because I think he only used like half a cup of breadcrumbs. So we're just gonna see what that does. And uh, I think we are gonna need all of it, because it's pretty wet. Not quite sure why. Yeah, let's put it all in. There we go. Hopefully that's gonna firm it up a little bit. Let's see, panko? Is panko breadcrumbs? I think so. This is pretty moist. Are you gonna hold the shape? Yeah, looks like it will. I think that will work.
there we go. Check it out. What I actually did was I went and got one of the grapes off my uh, grill. I've got kind of a shitty grill. It's one of them ones that half of it's gas, half of it's charcoal, and the half that's gas doesn't work anymore, which is fine because I don't like using gas unless it's just for a quick burger or you know, quick hot dog or something like that if uh, friends have kids over or something like that. As if we ever have company. But when we do, if we're just doing something simple like that, which I never do, I always go overboard, uh, I'll use it. But I want to get one of them like nice ones with the side smoker thing. And I digress. Ooh, big word. Which means I think rewind. Um, I took the grill and covered it in aluminum foil and threw the uh, meatloaf right on there, shaped it out. I think this is going to come out pretty damn moist. So, y'all, let's go outside and start up the fire. Alright, you got it. Give you guys a little closer look at it. Oh yeah. Mmm boy. Look good. Got some good smokage going. Again, I'm using that uh, snake method, that Pitmaster X throughout there. I'll tell you what, I love that process. It just slowly, I only start about four coals. Four. I set my snake. While those are getting hot or getting ashy in the chimney, I'll set up my snake, put some wood all the way around. Today I'm using cherry as usual because that's what I have on hand, minus mesquite everywhere, but I'm sick of mesquite. And then it just slowly works its way around so you get a nice consistent temperature and a long, good burn. I dig it. Oh no you didn't. I came out and uh, I tossed the, uh, the, my probe. You all got your fancy electronic probe. You can't afford one of them damn things. Um, and we're at 150, so we're about done. I was hoping to smoke a little bit longer, but hey, we're about two and a half, 245 into it. So what we're gonna do now is just throw on some uh, baby rays and, uh, let her go for a little bit longer. I don't want to get over maybe 160-ish on the temp. That's probably good enough. Let's just mop that around a little bit. Mm -hmm. Love to big rays. Oh yeah, oh yeah, boy. That looks and smells Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, let's uh, get that up there. That should just about do it. We'll let her go. I think about another 30 minutes. Try and let that crust up a little bit. Um, I think we'll be good. We'll take her inside and uh, have a taste test. My first meatloaf. And I did it on the smoker. Well, I smoked it on a grill. But hey, it is what it is. You can't have it. <sighs> My dogs are assholes. Ringy dingy dingy. Ringy dingy dingy. Hey, hey, uh, Space Cowboy TX. Yeah. Hey, this is Bubba. Bubba from. Bubba's Drunken Grub? No, the, the YouTube channel? I know, I, ju I just started. No! <laughs> um, John, over there at uh, Big Meat Sunday, he hoard out your phone number. Um, I saw it on a bathroom wall at the truck stop. Um, <laughs> he is an asshole. He, he makes some great stuff, but... Hey, so the reason I called, man... Um, no, I... I dig what you do, dude. <laughs> I dig your channel. I dig that freaking Yoda grill smoke. It's freaking badass, dude. Um, yeah, I'll bet. I'll bet. Um, now I ignore the dog in the background. Listen, I, um, you know, I'm, I'm new to this whole cooking channel thing. And, um, you know, I'm new to watching all you guys' videos. Uh, you guys rock, man. But I, I had to... 
Okay, I might be, I might be kind of uh, drunk dialing right now. I know I shouldn't do that. My wife's working. I'm here by myself and making a meatloaf thing in my bobber. And, uh, eh, drunk dialing. Hey, man, um, take this with all due respect. No, it, it's all good, man. Um, all due respect and, uh, you know, uh, don't take this wrong. Just kind of busting balls here, but, uh, uh, I got a, 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 a damn good feeling that, dude, you look a lot like that moonshine roadhouse dude. Dude, God, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know, I, I was just saying, I, I apologize. You two look alike. I'm sorry. Hey, genetics are what they are. I'm sorry. I was just. All right, man. All right, all right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm dude. Like I said, I was just drunk down. All right, man. I won't call you again. I, I apologize, bro. All right, call John. Blame him because he gave me your phone number. All right, bro. Dude. Hello. Oops. All right, hey, y'all. Um, it's done. It's done. It took, let's see, it started at 3.30. Um, had some temperature control problems because I'm learning that snake method. I did learn a big lesson today, is that put more charcoal than you think you need, because you can always turn down the heat with your uh, uh, vent thing in the bobbers, dampeners, vents, things. Um, because I started off way too cold, and then it got way too hot, and then I had to go out and I was something was drawing my attention away. Including this this dude on Skype, this uh, John, this big meat Sunday dude, was bugging me, asking me all sorts of advice on video making and camera skills and editing, and he even asked me something about computers, about wanting to reprogram something. Anyways, let me get back to this. We're done. I made my first meatloaf ever, ever. Awesome songs. Where'd that come out from? That was. Uh, take your brain back about five seconds, please, and erase it. Okay. Thank you. You guys rock. Let's check this thing out. I took it off. It's rested probably mm, ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes ago. It's rested 10 minutes ago. It's rested about 10 minutes. Did I almost just stab my eyeball right there? Let's check this out. It's good and firm. Nice and sticky. <laughs> oh, sorry. Wrong video. Let's check this out. Oh, damn. Oh, Hells yes. That looks good. Let's cut me off a slash. Let's see how it comes it out. Oh, that looks so good. Holding together. That's nice. Let's give it a shot. Are you serious? Did I just make this? I have video proof that I made this shit. My first ever meatloaf. 
<laughs> God dick, that is good. It's moist. I'm way overly excited about eating this meat. Something I should probably never ever say. But, yeah, damn. Thank all of you. All you people that have your cooking channels out there, or you're just channels, but you do cooking, because I had no desire to make a meatloaf because I was scared it was gonna be all nasty and dry. And, ugh. and I got inspired to because of you guys. And this is, I hate to say it, I hate to spank my own ass, but, wait, spank my own ass? No, pat my own back. Um, what are you in slip? Who knows? Um, this is the best meatloaf I've ever had. Oh, damn. Mom, you're not watching, right? No? Please? No? Okay, dude. Oh, anyways. This is freaking awesome. I guess the gist of the story is, is that if you see a video and you are inspired to try something new, do it. I guess that would depend on what... was inspirational. Uh, don't hurt anybody. Um, don't hurt yourself. At least not too bad. Busted a hole through my shirt. <laughs> and that's what it did. Is it? Oh, f me. Ah! Oh, my God. Yeah. Ah, uh, fuck. And, uh, be kind. But if you're inspired to try cooking something, as I tell my wife all the time, try it. If it comes out bad, you learn. You do it again. Like my chicken stuff the other day, I learned. Don't listen to the drunk side of your brain that says, don't use flour. I don't need no flour. Use it. But I learned. I've made fried chicken a million times. Okay, maybe only 900,000 times. I told myself a billion times not to exaggerate. I guess it just is what it is. Y'all, you know, take the inspiration from these other channels, because that's what I'm doing. Make it your own. This is loosely, slightly based upon the recipe that I mentioned earlier upon this thing, but there is a little bit of pickling happening up in this place that I don't remember the channel. Um, even though I love the channel, but regardless, um, this came out freaking awesome. I just wish my wife was home to enjoy it with me. Instead, I have to sit home by myself, watch UFC, and get drunk. This doesn't sound too bad. Okay. There we go. Cheers. Space power. Space. Space Cowboy TX. Sorry about the phone call. I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean no offense. Just trying to point. You. Ah, I was drunk, dying. What am I supposed to do? What the hell am I supposed to do? I, I just do stupid shit now and again, and I'm sorry.